Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of June 27th. So your theme for this week is faith. This is a major arcana card. It's a, you usually see it in other decks as the Hierophant. You can see four male representatives of the four major faiths represented here, Buddhism and Hinduism and Judaism and Christianity. <clears throat> you can see this lovely column of light with all these different figures and characters on it. And the number five, of course, five is uh, in the uh, four suits is a number of challenge. And so here, when we face that challenge, we turn to the foundations and the wisdom and the faith that we have in order to meet them. So this week, your theme for the week is to have faith in your creative work. Have faith in the traditions of your creative work. Turn to that when you're feeling a little shaky, a little uncertain about rather you can do it, rather you should be doing it. Um, trust your creativity, trust the foundations of your craft. Your focus for the week is the Three of Cups. So we've gone from this rather serious card to a much more fun, delightful, delighted card. The Cups is the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuitions, and creativity. You can see the instruments in front of her. She's got lutes and, and other, other instruments, stringed instruments, the three cups in front of her. Um, this is about celebrating. It's often, you'll see in other decks, uh, three women together partying or collaborating. Um, so your focus for this week is really where do you bring joy and celebration into your work? And how often do you celebrate your creativity? We get caught up in the serious aspect of it, of doing the work, of promoting it, of selling it, and so forth. But we can't do our creativity without joy. Where is the joy? Your action this week, back to a major arcana card. Not going to let us uh, rest on our laurels. So here's the card strength, the number eight in the major arcana. You can see this very Amazonian-like woman with these three large cats around her. Um, and you can see that the cats seem somewhat tame uh, for their species. And the fact is that she doesn't need... Um, she doesn't need them in a cage. She doesn't need a whip and chain. She doesn't need anything except her touch. And that what that touch does with her light is convey the sense of inner strength, inner confidence, and inner knowing that she has that keeps the cats um, in good relationship with her. So this week, act from the place of strength. Act from that place of inner confidence. Remember that Helen Reddy song, I am woman, hear me roar. It's that kind of thing coming from that place of strength and knowing in your creative work. And then finally, when you do that, then you get the gift of the queen of coins. All right, so the queen is the mistress or master of the element. Coins is the element of earth in the realm of home, health, and wealth. Anything you can touch, taste, or feel. Obviously money. Um, so here we have the queen who's the master of the element of earth, of money, of home, of health, of beauty. Uh, and this is the reward you get. You are the master, the mistress of the element of earth, which means you're the, the master or mistress of cr not only creating and manifesting things in the physical realm, but then reaping the reward for the work that you do. So as we look at the story for this week, um, this is not a quiet story. It's not an easy story for the week. It's not even a busy story. It's not like you're busy creating this week so much as you are developing the inner aspect of yourself that allows you to do your creativity. First come from that, be aware all week of that place of faith, faith in yourself, knowledge in your tradition and your craft that allows you to create from that deep place within. Then remember to keep the joy. Where is the joy in the work that you do? Where do you give yourself opportunity to celebrate and to express joy? And then act from that place of inner strength, inner confidence that is grounded in the knowledge and faith of your craft and your ability to create. Then when you do that, look for the gift of the Queen of Coins that makes you the mistress, the master of the element of creating in the physical realm.
And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia, DiviningTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings. <laughs>